Hello and welcome back to Intentful Spaces. Today I've got a ton of cleaning motivation for you. This video is extra long and I even included what's for dinner here at the end. Starting things off in the kitchen, I've got quite a bit to do in here and quite a bit of dishes to get started with. If this is your first time on one of my videos, welcome. My name is Melissa. I'm so glad you found me. I share lots of cleaning motivation as well as lots of decluttering and organizing a bit of decor. And if you are into that style of video, I would love for you to hit subscribe. I post new videos every week and would love to keep the motivation coming for you. Although it may appear as though I haven't got around to dishes in a while, I assure you I have. We are a big family and we eat at home a lot and we go through a lot of dishes. So I run about two loads a day. So I do them in the morning, touch them up in the afternoon and then do them again in the evening. So if I even so much as just don't get around to them that morning, then there's a whole pile already up there. So I am just gonna get this dishwasher unloaded and then load it back up and then hand wash whatever is remaining and then is a wash, rinse, repeat. There are a lot of chores delegated around the home, but the dishes have remained my domain for many reasons. We've tried doing it a few different ways and it just kind of seems to not work out for one reason or another. However, from time to time, I will ask somebody else to unload it real quick or load it up real quick. So it's not just me all the time, but one of the rules we have in place that is concrete is everyone rinses their own dishes and make sure that they're rinsed clean and then put them on the left side of the sink. So it's just a real easy load for me at that point because everything's already rinsed off and there's no food left over on any of the dishes. And if anybody cooks, they need to wash their own pots and pans. I am throwing a pot in here because I had the room for it this time, but normally I will just hand wash those larger items. Uh, it seems like there was a lot of dishes piled up this day because I had been working on some other stuff, some decluttering and organizing upstairs this morning and just wanted to jump into that and did not get to the dishes yet that morning. So there was a few remaining dishes from dinner and dishes that stagger in throughout the evening from the older kids as well as breakfast dishes and a couple things left over like the pot from dinner last night. And I like to run the dishwasher really full. So since there's still a bit of room remaining in there, I'm gonna go ahead and clean out the fridge real quick so I can get that incorporated in there as well before I hit start. We're not okay. I look into your eyes and see you fade away. No, we're not the same. It's like we're on two sides of the Milky Way Somehow we got used to the problems Baby, we got used to falling I'm tired of feeling blue when I lose myself to love Yeah, I just wanna lose
I keep the Vitamix blender out on the counter because we use it literally every single day and the picture is starting to get pretty cloudy. So I'm actually right now while I'm doing this voiceover, letting it set with some technique that hopefully will get all the cloudiness off. And I'm going to be including that in the spring cleaning for the kitchen video, changing out this brush head. I get these from Target. They're the Everspring line, I believe. And you can just change out the actual brush part and just keep your handle. So they were out of this other style one, but I like to keep both. So one's like my dish brush, the other one's for like water bottles and cups. And I, they were all out of the flat ones. So I'll have to change that out later, but I did go ahead and change the bottle brush. And this is all Grove Collaborative line. So the little tray and the hand soap, the dish soap. And then I'm just gonna get these all washed up. These little silicone sleeves that go on the bottom. I'm just gonna pull it off, get these bottles washed up cause they get gooped up with soap sitting there. And then I need to order some more refills for all of this. So so just going to touch up the hand soap with the little bit of hand soap I've got left and set the whole sink station back up and getting the sink all scrubbed out just with a little bit of dish soap. Warm hands, but there's something cold in the way you are. The things you said had me going good, but it left a scar. You invite me and then you turn me down. Get my hopes up and then you're gone. I fall. My baking sheets were looking a little rough, so grabbed a couple new ones from Target. My mom and sister have those ones. They said they really liked them, so I figured I'd grab those. And my Christmas present from my mother is this electric steamer. So getting this all unboxed and washed finally, I need to find a place for it here in the kitchen. But this will be really nice for us. We do a lot of vegetables. We are plant-based eating, so there's a lot of vegetables that I have to prep. And this will be really nice to have some kind of appliance that can actually steam it instead of using that little basket in a pot of water and having to rotate what I'm doing. It's just really tedious and time consuming. So this is gonna be nice. I can throw it all right there in that pan and have everything steamed for dinner. 
And of course, I will link this in the description box below and throw it into my Amazon list. So I always keep that link to my Amazon storefront right there in the description box as well. So you can just click that link, go right there, and I have all the lists of all the things that I show in my videos. Really easy to shop. Your shadow stretching on the floor while the sun gets low i got a feeling that the glow deep inside my core needs to breathe to flow I just recently did a two-part kitchen declutter and organize video, so I included the way I had these caraway pans set up, just pulling out those baking sheets and then sliding the new ones in right here alongside of it. I really dislike this cabinet because it's one of those corner cabinets that's really deep and anything in front just sort of blocks access to everything. So it is nice that I have all the pots and pans just right there in the front and everything else I can just kind of reach in over it, but just got to make do with what it is. And then this is my other cabinet where I've got like all my small appliances and my mixing bowls and serving bowls and stuff like that. So just got to make this work also. After playing around with it for a few minutes, I did decide on some stuff to get rid of, like all those food processor parts that I don't use, and I'm going to get rid of those two bins that were in there. So I ended up being able to work it all in. Uh, I was going to play around with trying to put the air fryer out on the counter, but I really didn't like that. So eventually I get it all figured out, and I'll show you here in a little bit once I do. We push it right on through. I know you need it to because we have been working hard right from the very start and then we get this far but now it's time for us to stay out until it's late we've come a long long way so we deserve it mate we call it a day and celebrate Those are some miscellaneous juicer parts, so it makes sense to put them in the cabinet where the juicer is. So getting those in a little storage container and putting them behind those jar lids. And if I need them, they're there. I don't use them all that often, but I also haven't learned all the functions that my juicer actually does. So here it is, finally worked out. I've got the steamer worked into there, the air fryer, the rice cooker, the waffle iron, the toaster, all of my mixing bowls and strainers and cutting boards and all the serving dishes. So this cupboard packs a lot of punch and I've got it working. So calling the kitchen area done for now and moving on over to the dining area, which is just right here in part of the kitchen. So I'm going to pull a little clutter off these shelves. A lot of times I just stick things up here when I need to just get it off the surfaces. So the kids have their Lego set up that they were playing with there. I'm going to pull all that down. And then I got Jillian's Valentine's stuff for her Valentine's Day school thing. And then I have the bowl that all the little things <laughs> that I come across, uh, I just toss into that little bowl. So getting that all cleared out. I've got a couple plants I were, was propagating up here. So I'm going to get those moved up to the yoga room, which kind of is now also being called my plant room. So getting the shelves cleared off and I will be pulling all this stuff and dusting it all when I do the spring cleaning, which I actually just filmed spring cleaning the living room and then this dining room area. And I'm just going to combine that into part one of my spring cleaning series, which is starting here soon, showing you that I've got some root growth on these months monstera clippings and that will be a beautiful plant once it takes so once i get all this tidied up i'm going to go ahead and peel these very ripe bananas and get them thrown into a container so i can put them in the freezer and they will be ready for smoothies Let's that we faced did ever slow us down we knew we'd get here went the extra mile in every race we are duty bound we push it right on through everything 
every time I share this banana technique, I get a lot of questions about it. It really is that simple. Just peel the bananas when they're ripe, put them in the container, throw them in the freezer, and they're ready to use. And I just use bags of frozen fruit along with these frozen bananas, and it makes the whole smoothie process so simple. Showing you what I got for Jillian from Target. We got the frozen valentines and then those sticky hearts. My kids love the sticky hands in the party section. So when I found those sticky hearts, I thought that is perfect as a little valentine treat to give to her class. So now I'm just going to run the vacuum through this area real quick and then mop it and moving on over to the living room. I know you need it too because we have a working heart right from the very start. Who knew we get this far? But now it's time for us to stay out until it's late. We've come a long, long way, so we deserve it. Man. Call it a day and celebrate. Pulled out the little bit of Valentine decorations I have, and I'm just not feeling it. I'm not a huge fan of the color red in my home, and the few things that I do have are red. So I tried to kind of set it out, and then it just kind of feels like clutter, and it kind of just grabs my attention with that vibrant red color. So I end up just kind of piling everything up and moving it to the side, and still haven't put it up, just kind of shifting it around. And I think if I'm going to decorate for Valentine's, I need to get some more neutral stuff so that it's just not so jarring with that red color. Um, I'm going to leave that little bit there on the TV console and maybe I'll put the other stuff up when it's like Valentine's Day and that way I can just take it down right away made real quick work in the living room because I'm going to be doing the spring cleaning here shortly after I've recorded this video. So I don't want to do a whole lot in there right now, just touching it up, calling this whole area done enough for now. Going to go ahead and get the diffuser filled so that it's smelling fresh in here. I'm using a eucalyptus, rosemary, and lemon just to have something with a bit of energy to it and also to kind of help with some of the sickies that have been going through the house. I'm sure a lot of you can relate to that. This has been a really brutal winter sick season. So this oil blend has kind of like a Vicks vapor rub kind of feel to it just to kind of help open up those airways. And now I'm going to clean up all the clutter that I've just been sticking over here on this entry table. And then I'll be running the vacuum over the stairs and then taking a little bit of a break here shortly. I know when I film these videos, you're only seeing these clips where I'm cleaning and not a lot of the other stuff going on in the day. But I assure you, I am not just spending all day cleaning. I also have kids to play with and dog to walk and meals to make and also lots of cuddles and I try to give myself some downtime to just sit and look at my phone or read a book so there is a lot of other stuff going on besides just the productivity and I'm not trying to say this isn't a lot of work because obviously it's a lot of work there was hours of footage in this video that I edited so I know I was cleaning for hours and hours but the way it gets cut down and then sped up, it does make it look like it was all just so effortless. You can see there's a lot of spots here in the stairway that I need to touch up the paint. I do need to go get some paint because I usually get my paint at Home Depot and I use the bare paint, but when the painters did the house this time, they got it from another place. So I need to go there and get a color match to this paint and touch up a whole bunch of spots in the house. Moving these plants here into what I was saying my plant room is, uh, there's a lot of plants in here. This gets the the best sunlight so this is where they're happiest and I will be sharing more of that room in an upcoming video when I do the spring cleaning in there here is Jasmine sitting right here in the doorway whenever I have the door open with just the security door closed there that's her favorite spot so I just grabbed some Amazon packages and I'm gonna add it to the mess here on the desk that I'm going to get to here in a little while after I take a break. So I'm going to make myself a coffee and go sit down and do some cuddles and rest and then I'll get back to it. We give it our best, but sometimes we need to stop to see what we have assessed. I'm grateful about everything because we have a working heart right from the very start. 
this far But now it's time for us to stay out until it's late We've come a long way so we deserve it, mate Call it a day and celebrate did some cuddles and pet the dog and did a little reading and now it's a bit later and I'm ready to take on the office. So I'm going to start on packaging some of the Amazon packages that came in. I ordered myself that dress. I did a quick glance in the mirror to decide if it was a yes or a no. I'll take it upstairs and try it on later, but so far it's yes. And now just shifting this Valentine's Day stuff again. I shipped it a few more times in the next video coming up as well. So I think I just, like I said, need to get myself some neutral decor for Valentine's Day and just ditch the red stuff. So I work in this office a lot. It's very lived in. And so I'm just kind of straightening up all my little clutter that's there and then this other side we try to keep open like open desk space for whoever needs to use it but mostly my husband so just gonna get that cleared off again and it obviously it's a clear surface right by the door so it becomes a dumping ground for things so everything gets set there and then I'm gonna put it away I do try to keep it clear though so then you see all these boxes and containers next to the desk so my husband's mother she passed about 15 years ago and then we just recently oh recently is in the past year uh got a bunch of her stuff out of storage that they had had and we went through it and this is probably about probably like a third of what was there we just made a quick pass got rid of a whole bunch of stuff that was just unnecessary to keep and this is the stuff we actually need to pay a little bit closer attention to going through a lot of this is pictures and just stuff that my husband will probably want to keep of his mother's so I'm gonna go ahead and do that at a later time so that's actually gonna stay there for now but it's pretty cool some of the pictures we came across so I'll show those here in a bit but I wanted to rotate the boards on these shelves because you saw when I put the office together the wood was a little bit bowed because the wood's just not really in great condition when you purchase it at the store right now anyways so it was a little bit bowed and I figured it would settle as I got the stuff up there and it did so I'm just gonna rotate it so it settles the other way as well well and get the shelves all dusted straighten up the plants a little bit and just kind of freshen the space up I still have quite a bit of decluttering and organizing I need to do here in the office space. I will be getting around to that as I'm making a pass for the house. I am decluttering and organizing every space in the house. So working that in with my spring cleaning this year as well. I got these bookends for the medical medium series that I want to keep on the shelf in here. But then when I got it all set up, I realized that it would be displaying the back side of the book to the main area. And I didn't really like the way that looked. So I'm going to go ahead and keep them laying horizontally and I figured these bookends would actually be perfect up in the yoga room because the direction of those shelves it would be showing the front end of the books so I'm gonna move those up there I was knocked down heard the countdown through the haze in the face of defeat yeah I was ruled out with no bail out on my own all alone left to bleed out but I rose up from the ground Just like I was built bound All the odds were against me So I picked up the page And now I'm in the rage Give me some space I'm a movement and I ain't losing Gonna go, 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 go Like a bird Explode. 
stop mopping for a moment to help our senior dog get outside. I recently have shared that we ended up putting her down this weekend. She was quite old and it was definitely her time. It was been a very emotional experience. And to add in with some of that emotion has been going through all of my husband's late mother's stuff. So this was her when she was a baby. And we also had her mother's things in with all of this as well. So there's a lot of really old pictures in here and we don't know who all these people are so we kind of quickly went through and was trying to kind of figure out with the names and the dates of things of who everyone was but that's definitely going to be a project that we're going to have to go through and my mom I think is going to help us out a little bit because she's really into this kind of stuff doing like the ancestry.com and stuff like that so hopefully we can get some of this figured out but it was really cool to see a lot of these really old pictures. And obviously we're going to want to get these set up in a way that they can be preserved and not just in all of these cardboard boxes that we pulled out of storage. So showing that Ori just kind of hangs out here in her crate, even though the door is open, she just likes it in there. And I can go ahead and remove this blanket from this chair now because I had it there to kind of help with some of the stains. I'm hiding one of the stains now. I need to rewash that slip cover, but I had it on there because Jasmine was always hanging out in that chair, but she can no longer get in there at this point. So I went ahead and took that blanket off and giving Ori some more petting. She always just kind of comes and puts her head right in our hands to be petted. It's so funny. So now I'm going to clean up this little guest bathroom real quick. And then I will be also doing our upstairs bathroom, but just making quick work of it. Not really wanting to deep clean the bathrooms too much, but this one I try to keep on top of because this is the main one on the main level that everybody uses. So I try not to let too many days go by without cleaning this one. So I've been told that I should fold and give in I can't win in this game I want to point out that I did wash my hands between cleaning the toilets and grabbing those toothbrushes because it doesn't appear so on this video, but I did wash my hands. And again, it's more of that red, the red towels in here. They're just so jarring to me, but figured it was a nice little fun touch of Valentine's day here in the bathroom for the kids and just cleaning up the sink. We keep an extra set of toothbrushes and toothpaste down here because when the kids are getting ready in the morning, sometimes it's just easier to do it down here instead of bringing them back upstairs. So this bathroom's really small, so it's really easy to clean. I just do the toilet real quick, clean out that pedestal sink and wipe down the mirror, change out the towels, and then I use sanitizing wipes to clean on the floor around the toilet area. And then I did run that mop through the sink area, but I didn't get that on camera. So then I'm gonna go ahead and refill this hand soap. Um, this was, I forget the brand, I got it from Target and it was supposed to be like kids body wash shampoo. I really didn't like the product and then I thought well I'll keep the bottle because the bottle's cool like a silicone and I don't want to keep glass here because I don't want the kids to knock it off the pedestal sink and break the glass on the tile so I tried to use a bottle in here but then it like suctions and then has no air in it so the bottle is just as terrible as the product really disappointing so now it's time to give the dogs their dinner um i'm trying to include some of the behind the scenes clips where i'm not just cleaning in here like including what we're making for dinner and that i actually did relax for a little bit so jameson this is his chore to feed the dogs dinner we give him a can of food every night so they're just lined up there and waiting and like i said we did just recently put jasmine down this weekend but i want to say thank you so much to everybody who sent us their love and thoughts and prayers and condolences it does mean a lot to us we've been seeing this coming for about a year now her health has been declining so it was a mercy to finally let her cross over so running the trash out usually jameson does this when he feeds the dogs but he forgot to do that and went upstairs and now i'm just gonna go ahead and get dinner started to explode. 
This is one of those super quick and easy dinners that the whole family loves and I'm just gonna get the rice prepared, just regular white rice. And then I guess I do use the canisters that are up on those kitchen shelves. So I do store the rice in there. So it's a functional and decoration. So getting the rice rinsed, put in the rice cooker and getting that going, super simple. And then I'm just gonna be pulling out some bags of the frozen Gardein mandarin chicken. So because we're a large family, I got four packages. Um, I just open these up, throw them on a baking sheet, put them in the oven. I come back a little while later and flip them and then let them cook a little bit longer and then they're ready. So then it's literally just like cook up a little bit of carrots and then we have the vegetable and the protein and the rice and it's a super simple dinner like I said and everybody loves this. They get excited about this one and I'm not a big fan of the veggie meats. I'm not a fan of meat so I don't really care to have meat substitutes but this one I actually really do like. So this one is a fun dinner that I like to incorporate regularly it's just kind of pricey because anytime you get those veggie meats they're kind of pricey because usually we're just like you know rice and beans and fruits and vegetables and that's kind of inexpensive but when you start adding in these processed products it gets a little expensive so while I'm at it with getting everything ready, I'm just going to go ahead and peel these carrots and get them sliced up. And that way they'll be all ready to just throw in a pan and heat up right before the veggie chicken is ready. And when the rice is done, so they'll be warm when we're when it's time to eat. So for Valentine's Day, I'm going to try my hand in making some sushi, vegan sushi. I've never actually had sushi in my entire life, so I won't really have anything to compare it to, but I'm gonna go ahead and give this a try. I thought it would be fun and be one of those fun like events we can have for dinner that we can kind of look forward to. So hopefully it's good and hopefully everyone likes it. I'm gonna do like some spring rolls and like fried green beans and stuff with that. So I'm actually really excited for Valentine's Day this year. I haven't been feeling very festive about any of the holidays recently, but for some reason, actually, really excited for Valentine's Day. So this is going to be a fun dinner where we're all going to sit down at the table as a family. And I got these chopstick assist things so that the kids can do the chopsticks as well. And these plates that I ordered on Amazon that will be fun to set the table with. And then I got some of these teacups so we can have some tea maybe like some ginger beer or something. I don't know. I'm still kind of working out the plan. And I got those rice molds. One of them is the shape of a heart. That will be fun. So I hopefully, you know, we'll get the Valentine's decorations up at some point. And I'll share on Instagram when I do get the whole sushi set up done and I'm really looking forward to it. So now I'm making my way upstairs. Julie's hanging out in the chair that she's scratched up so terribly. And now I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to get that dress put away that I brought upstairs and the earrings that I pulled out of that little bowl of stuff on the shelf in the kitchen. Ori decided that she was ready to play and now she has the zoomies. So I was trying to get a little clip that I'd already kind of tidied up the bedroom and made the bed, but now she's kind of pouncing around in front of me, wanting me to go take her for a walk. I'm going to do that after we have dinner. A lot of times I just take her at night after the kids are in bed because it's kind of a lot. Still training her how to walk. So we've had her for about six, eight months, something like that. And she likes to walk faster than I can keep up with. So it takes a while to get to the same pace together. And it's just so hard to walk her with the kids as well. So once we get that down, then we can all go together more often. But some days I just don't have the energy to do it all. So now I'm just going to make quick work of the bathroom. Like I said, 
using the e-cloth bathroom set so this is a multi-purpose washcloth that is damp and then the glass polishing cloth so i'm virtually going to clean the entire bathroom with just these two cloths minus the toilet i'm going to use the same like sanitizing wipes and ajax on that but for the tub and the vanity and the sink and the faucets and the mirror and the glass for the shower i'm going to just wipe it all down real quick with that set and then get those towels thrown in the wash and put some clean ones up The sun is setting, so I'm gonna go ahead and close the blinds that I opened all that morning. Checking on this, getting them all flipped so that they can brown evenly on both sides. And I'm actually really, really impressed with this Target baking sheet. It's like it lets airflow get under there or something. So everything browned up really nicely, like perfection. So I'm gonna throw that back in for a few more minutes and pulling out one of these caraway pans, I am going to just saute up those carrots that I'd sliced earlier. And I'm not going to use any oil i'm just going to add some water to the pan so it's kind of like steaming them not necessarily sauteing them so i'm just going to put that in there put the lid on it and then let it kind of simmer for a little while until they are fork tender and i will keep the link to these caraway pans in the description box below they were kind enough to send these to me i had my eye on them for years now and i was so excited when they reached out to me and asked if they could give me some so excited to share that with you emptying these little sauce packets into this pyrex measuring cup just going to throw that in the microwave for a little bit to heat the sauce up and then when those little chickens are ready i am just going to put the sauce on there and toss it in the sauce so they're all coated <music> At this point, it was just me and three of the kids eating. So went ahead and got me and Jameson stuff plated and the littles plated and just gonna leave all of this here in these glass bowls for my husband to fix his plate when he gets home from work. Heated up some pineapple. I love heated up pineapple, grilled pineapple, pineapple on pizza. I love hot pineapple. And I feel like this goes really well with this dinner. So that is it for today's video. If you've made it all the way here to the very end, leave me rice 
hearts and carrots and pineapple emojis in the comment section down below to let me know that you did. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed already, I would appreciate if you subscribe so I can keep these videos coming for you. I've got all kinds of spring cleaning and decluttering and organizing motivation coming up. So be on the lookout for that. And I always get requests for more food related content. So my intentions was to include that on my other lifestyle channel that I do keep linked down below. So I have gotten some up there and I haven't been posting as much as I'd like to. So hopefully I can work and be better at that here soon and put all the food stuff over there. But wanted to give you a little glimpse here. That is it for today's video. As always, thank you all so much for being here.